Steam can now record your gameplay and it's actually pretty good compared to other similar tools for recording games. If you go to the Steam settings here, you should see a new option called game recording. This is the feature which will record your gameplay. But if you don't see this feature, that means you have to enable this feature because as of me making this video, this feature is only available in Steam beta update. So to get the beta update, you have to go into the Steam settings and then go to interface and then change this option client beta participation to Steam beta update. By default, it will be no beta chosen. So you just have to go and select the second option, Steam beta update. After that, Steam will restart and update the Steam and get the latest Steam beta update. Then again, if you go to the Steam settings and here you'll see the game recording option. Now let's talk about the game recording and its settings. Just go to game recording settings. First, we have the recording mode. We have three different modes for game recording. Don't record, basically it won't record your gameplay. Record in background. This is actually one of the best feature of this. If you have this option selected, Steam will automatically record your gameplay. You don't have to click on record button. No, nothing like that. It will just automatically record your gameplay. And as they say here, so you won't miss those unexpected moments. Sometimes, you know, we forget to record our gameplays. Now, with the help of this, we'll never forget to record our gameplays. Yes. <laughs> and then third option, record on demand. Basically, uh, you have to click on record button or you can use the shortcut key, control F11 to record the gameplay. Then we have the recording folder. We can change where we want to save the recordings and we have the recording quality. There are a couple of presets and these presets are actually optimal presets for internet 12 megabytes per second is the default and it's actually really good for 1080p 60 fps going above that doesn't make any sense let's say if you upload your gameplay videos on youtube you know this is the best preset for 1080p 60 fps and then we have the gpu hardware encoding basically it will use gpu to record your gameplay you should enable it and then we can change the shortcut keys for recording screenshot and also for timeline marker you can mark your recordings while you're gaming and this is another really good feature of this and we have the frame rate we can go up to 60 fps and we have the record microphone and we can record audio from game only or all system sounds this is also a another great feature of this uh, basically you can choose to record only the game sound so let's say you're playing some music while you're playing the game it won't record that music it will only record the gameplay there is another option game and selected programs you can select that and in here you can select multiple programs from which you want to record the audio now let's uh, launch the game at this time i only have one game <laughs> now if you have selected your game to record automatically in game recording settings it will start recording your, your gameplay you don't have to do anything uh, but to access the game recording uh, videos and settings and if you want to start recording you can simply open the steam overlay by pressing the shift and tab and in here you can actually see game recording option here okay and uh, we also have a start recording button or we can use the uh, control plus f11 to start recording the gameplay if you want to change the game recording settings you can actually click on settings and here you can go to the game recording and here you can change all the settings that you need to change and now uh, let's record the gameplay actually i'm gonna click on this now it's gonna start recording i'm gonna just play this game a little bit and uh, what should i do day zero it looks like a minecraft game <laughs> but it's not a minecraft i think this is uh, i mean this game is made by a really popular youtuber game he's a game dev he hasn't posted for a long time now danny yeah danny i think that's the name of that guy oh what am i doing here i'm just making a tutorial Okay, that should be enough actually. <laughs> now I'm gonna leave the game. I can go shift uh, tab and here I can click on stop recording or I can press control plus F11 to stop recording. So I'm gonna 
click on that and it will stop recording now to access your game recordings you actually have to go into the view clips and here you'll see all of your game recordings that you recorded using this but if you go to the folder where the gameplay video recordings should appear you will see that there is no video recordings there is no video files that is because you actually have to right click on the clips okay and then click on share and then you can export the video recording as a video file here you can actually play the clips or video recordings that you did and you can you know do a little bit of basic editing like clip uh, mark and all that basically you can trim the video okay just like that and then you can click on save share and here you can see uh, export video file that's how you'll be getting the video file on your computer let's actually export this as a video file i'm gonna click on that and this is where i want to save my video file and it has the game name and the date and all that okay i'm gonna click on save now it's gonna export that video show in folder and here it is our gameplay video that we just uh, trimmed using the uh, steam now as i said you can mark your gameplay recordings in mid game so let me actually try to play this game one more time let's say i'm recording this and let's say something big is about to happen in the game and i'm gonna mark this moment by clicking on f i mean control and f12 and it will mark that moment and i'm gonna pick that up this is the moment all right now if i stop recording and view clips and uh, this is the latest one and here you can see the big moment of we picking the rock is right here <laughs> so this is actually really powerful game recording feature and you can also sort your recording files by games so right now i only have one game okay but if you have multiple games and you record multiple games gameplays then you can filter them right now this is the only game that i have but uh you'll see a list of all of your games here and you can filter your game recordings based on your game. Yeah, this is also another really cool feature. You can also filter this by clips, screenshots, background recordings and all that. And it's, it's actually really good. I mean, if you play a lot of games and you record your gameplays and all that, I mean, this is actually one of the best, you know, game recording software now in my opinion. Yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. That's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.